Hello, I'm Dr. Natalie Petahop with the third video in the series for creating a business case for social media in your contact center. If you've seen the other videos, you know I was an industry analyst who specialized in customer service, CRM, and social media. So I've seen lots of interest in this topic and a lot of confusion. And the good news is that it's becoming clear that social media and customer service is getting great results. What's interesting is that these results go far beyond just customer service. In fact, some of the greatest benefits come from sharing customer conversations with the entire company. Before I go into that, let me quickly recap the first two videos. In video one, I shared a proven technique for getting your executives to listen and to motivate them to act. In video two, you learned how to calculate the return on investment for a social media strategy. In a way, the first two videos were dedicated to the pragmatists, the people who want to see the effect of any new program on the bottom line. This video is for the visionaries. It's about the other benefits that come with making social media part of your corporate DNA. Some of these benefits aren't quite as easy to measure. For example, how can you calculate the effect that a groundswell of goodwill will have on sales? Other benefits are easier to calculate, such as savings when it comes to getting ideas for product development. What's important is each of these benefits become part of the overall discussion. To get top-down commitment for your strategy, your CEO needs to understand how a social contact center can benefit the entire company. Of course, the biggest overall benefit will come from happier customers. Happy customers make fewer calls to the contact center, and happy customers buy more products and happy customers tell their friends about you. One measure of customer satisfaction is lower call volume, but you can also use metrics such as referral rates which show how likely customers are to recommend you to others. Another benefit is that social customer service helps break down the barriers between departments. Because agents are on the front lines, they get lots of information that can help other departments. Take feature requests. Product management would love to hear about those or negative tweets about a competitor which agents could pass on to sales. A great approach for coordinating social media efforts between departments is to work together to avoid overlapping efforts or gaps in your approach. And then there's the way that social media is changing the world of PR and marketing. Branding is no longer about pushing one-way messages. Instead, it's how you engage with customers and respond to their needs. Of course, what's really keeping people up at night is that angry customers can broadcast their complaints to thousands of people. A brand reputation that may have taken years and millions of dollars to build can be threatened overnight. Because customer service is on the front lines when it comes to angry customers, it can also be the front line defense. One area where social media has been really successful is product development. Instead of chasing after customer opinions, the right strategy now brings them to you. For many years, product managers sponsored focus groups. They arranged for user testing and they traveled to meet customers to get their input. Just think, running a typical focus group costs about $15,000. Over the course of a year, that can easily add up to hundreds of thousands of dollars. With social media, instead of getting the opinion of 12 to 15 random people over the course of a few hours, you can get hundreds of opinions from the people who care the most. And because many customer complaints include direct or indirect suggestions, customer service can be a major source of input for product development. Of course, social media also makes it easier for customer service to benefit from the expertise of other departments. With collaboration tools, agents are no longer alone with difficult questions. Instead, they have instant access to agents in other tiers, as well as colleagues in sales and marketing or experts in R&D. That means you should see the number of escalations go down and customer satisfaction scores go up. In addition to keeping an eye on escalations and CSAT scores across channels, you'll also want to track some of the following metrics. Look for trends that show the types of cases best resolved in social media. What products do customers ask about the most? Are their habits changing? For example, are they moving from email to Facebook? Track the average handle time for cases on social versus traditional channels. Track the number of pound fails versus pound wins over time. And don't forget to see how the number and percentage of cases handled via social channels changes over time. This information will be critical to show the need for increased resources for social channels in the future. Once you look at your own organization, you'll think of many other things you want to measure and opportunities to work together across departments. As a customer service executive, you're in the perfect position to make that happen. For those who complain that customer service doesn't get the respect it deserves, this may be the time to step up to the plate to help lead the social media efforts across departments. Because customer service is closest to the needs of the customer, you're ideally positioned to be a leader in the social media charge. Go for it!